Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Hulderfolk, and if you want to download it for yourselves, you can for free if you just follow the link down below in the description, alright? So, in Hulderfolk we're going to be on the Faroe Islands, and I'm going to be playing as a surveyor looking at a build site for any ancient artifacts that might be damaged or destroyed because of the building process. Maybe I'll find some, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll find something a little more though. Hope you enjoy it, here we go, let's play. So, if you're wondering, Hulderfolk means hidden people. Hulderfolk are mythological creatures on the Faroe Islands, and if you don't know where the Faroe Islands are, they're actually north of Scotland. I suppose they'd be in between Scotland and Iceland. And here we are. Looks like a nice place. So far so good. I don't see any Hulderfolk, but then I suppose I wouldn't. They're hidden people. They're actually meant to be invisible unless they choose to show themselves to you. So maybe there's loads. <laughs> maybe I should be saying hi and giving them a wave. Well, they're not Holder folk, they're sheep, I think. Okay. I've made it to the bed and breakfast house. It looks... nice. Why the pause? Are you sure about that? I, I, I don't believe you. Where's the X to doubt button? <laughs> I can see OK though, so let's press that. I quite like the way it looks, honestly. Apart from that roof, looks like it's going to cave in. Now, it's giving me this sort of like 90s adventure game vibe. WS and D to move, mouse to look around. It is first person. It is first person. All right. Can we leave? No, we can't. <laughs> Without a plane or a boat, I suppose I'll just have to drive into the sea. Uh, Alright, uh, let's start by having a look at this shed, shall we? This is just a small storage house. Is it though? You say that now, but what secrets lie within? Hmm. We'll come back to this later, maybe. Oh, okay, the door is moving, but it's not opening, unfortunately. Yeah, can't look through the window. That's looking promising. I can maybe go in there. We've got some sheep. Oh. The B&B host must be a shepherd. A lot of cool sheep here. <laughs> How can you differentiate between the cool and the uncool sheep? Are they wearing shades? The latest fashions? Maybe they got a swagger about them? But okay. <laughs> they sound like sheep. Right, yeah, I can look through these windows, so uh, let's maybe go in. Oh, sorry, no, let's, let's knock and uh, request to be let in. That's the polite thing to do. Don't just break in. Ah, you must be the researcher coming to see if that build site is free from any archaeological artifacts. Yep, mm -hmm, that's, that's me. me. The plane ride was long. I'm ready to rest up before I get to work. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to my bed and breakfast. Come on in. Your room is right up the stairs. Come and meet me in the dining area after you've settled in. Okay. So, what's the over and under on him being one of the Holder folk? <laughs> Are you one of them? I don't know. Right, let's uh, let's get acquainted with the place, shall we? A nice roaring and crackling fire. A tablecloth that doesn't really know what to do with itself. Got the stairs over there. We've got this kitchen area. Looks quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the look of this. It's actually reminding me of um, a game that I played a few months ago called No One Lives Under the Lighthouse, which is really, really good. If you haven't watched those videos yet, go check those out. That was a really, really good game. Ah, oh, here we go. It's a good looking toilet. Like, for this game, it's a really good looking toilet. Can't actually use it, but fair enough. Yeah. Right, so. Can't go through there by the looks of it. Ah, is this my bedroom? What's that? Oh, is that a stain on the bed? Or on the sheet? Or is that like a jacket, maybe? Well, either way, I've put my backpack down, my camera. Hmm. I suppose I should go down and say hello, right? Yeah. Yeah, so far so good. I quite like this. It's an interesting premise, too. A little bit different. 
I wanted to ask you if you know anything about the Hulda folk. Hulda folk? <laughs> What's that about? I guess mean not. Mean creatures that roam certain spots of this island. They are very territorial and will do mm. anything to keep people away from their land. Didn't the builders that hires you tell you of these creatures? No, they didn't. But this is a joke, right? Oh no. No joke at all. Very serious. It is well known to the Faroese people that these creatures exist. But these builders that hired you, they don't seem to be aware of the Hulda folk. They must be foreigners. <laughs> well, you're right on that. The builders are from the US. They want to build a hotel here. Hmm. But let's say these Hulda folk are real. How would you get rid of them? <laughs> How would you, you exterminate can. them? If you find out the build site is filled with Hulda folk, mm. you must stop the build project. Mm. And you must stay away from the site. The creatures are invisible, and they can reveal themselves at will. Right. Sometimes you can capture them on film, too. How can I tell if Hulda folk live there? Keep a lookout for holes and mounds where they live in. Okay. Dirt circles on the ground indicate a Hulda folk was there digging for worms. And if there is a machine on site that is damaged, there could have been Hulda folk activity. Hmm. Okay, sure. I will take your advice then. Will you though? I'm only warning you. There's a common misconception about Hulda folk. Most people think they are not dangerous, but that isn't the case. No? I've had my encounters with the creatures before. Oh yeah? And they don't like to be bothered. They have also taken some of my sheep. Some of the cool ones? I appreciate your warning. And your hospitality. Now I must go lay down a bit. I'm tired. Hmm. I don't think he's taking this too seriously, you know? I, mm, I didn't feel too sincere to me. But it's about time I take a drive in the build site so I can survey it. Okay. Got my backpack, got my camera, I'm ready to go. Still got that stain on the bed by the looks of it. Uh, but right, yeah. Wow, look at how foggy it is. Right, there's the shed outside. Maybe now I can have a look inside. I, I don't know why, but maybe I... Maybe I'm suspecting there's going to be some sort of... Corpse in there or something. I don't really know. Where's our friend? It, oh! Okay, we're going. Ready or not, here we come. Maybe I should take account of the sheep and then count them when I come back. Maybe there's going to be a different number. Right. So, it's in this storage house. Nope. Nope, still can't get in. Alright. Here we go. Let's head off to the site, shall we? Hmm. I'm actually enjoying this. Yeah, this is nice. This is the site. Okay, it's time to start taking some photos and notes. Take photos, take notes. Okay, I'm ready to rumble. So this is the site where the hotel's going to be, right? Lovely view from the window. Uh, something over there. Right. Let's see. Oh, here we are. Take a photo. Ah. Uh what was that? Ah. This looks like it was built a long, long time ago. <laughs> There's also a weird artifact on the image. <laughs> Maybe the camera is dirty. Maybe it is, but that is not a weird artifact. That's a that's a holder folk standing right there, revealed by the camera. We're not taking any more photos, no. Are we taking any more notes? I guess not, okay. So, what have we got here? Oh. Odd circles of dirt. Right. Are there any animals living here? Maybe Hulda folk. <laughs> <laughs> He's really not treating this seriously. But yeah, maybe they were digging for worms here, right? That's what the guy was talking about. He was a wise Faroese man. You should have listened to him. You should have actually taken his advice. Honestly, right now I've got enough information to just leave. I'll tell the hotel company, the building company, whoever I need to tell, that this is not going to work. 
Hmm. There's nobody here. Because they were killed by the hidden people. By the elves. I think they're also known as elves. Yeah. Oh, that is a very reflective surface. <laughs> is that sh That's showing the container over there. I can't even get to the steps to, to try and go inside. Um, right, well, let's have a look at the containers, shall we? I kind of want to just get my camera out and just start taking random snaps. I might be, like, walking through them right now, walking around them. Wow, everything's so reflective. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, we've got some construction equipment here. Oh, okay. Ah, ah, oh, oh, is it... Is it busted? Hey! Oh, look, another weird artifact. A damaged radiator. <laughs> this needs some repairing. There's also another artifact on my photo. It's not an Damn artifact. Camera. And it's not the camera. The camera's revealing the truth. Right. So, yeah, broken equipment. Digging holes, looking for worms. We, we, we're hitting them all. That's what he warned us about. Okay. Looks like a can, but I'm sure it's not. A pile of rocks could be the doing of people from hundreds of years ago. But more than likely, it's just been currently placed here by travelers or workers. Or maybe it was some ancient warning to stay away from the area. This is the Holder Folk territory. I don't know. And it looks like there's an entrance to some sort of mound over there. So that's it. That's everything he warned us about is here. I mean, I want to leave, but I know it's not going to happen. Let's go inside. Let's investigate. Or rather, let's take a photo of the entrance. Okay. This could be older folk. Or I'm being pranked. That would be one hell of a prank. But okay, he's actually coming around. And getting lassoed. Okay. Damn. I have to admit, mate, you do kind of deserve it. Like, oh, jeez. Oh, fucking hell, he's getting stoned. And not in a good way, either. Oh, fuck. Right. Uh, jeez. Uh, hmm. Goddamn. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't... Oh, bollocks. Oh. What? The archaeologist was never seen again. Oh, my God. Wow. The mound was searched, but it was found empty. He has remained missing ever since. And that is the end to Holderfolk, everyone. That was short and sweet. And uh, if there was any message, uh, it's that ignorance gets you stoned, I guess. What a fool. What a fool. He should have listened to the Faroese man's warnings. He should have stayed in the bed and breakfast. He should have seen a couple of the clues and then gave the hotel company a call. I... He got what he deserved, I think. Okay, well that wasn't the scariest thing I've ever played, but I actually did find that quite enjoyable. I found that quite a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the concept, it was different. Uh, I like, like the premise, I like the story, the way it looked, the way it sounded, the voice acting was actually pretty good as well. Uh, the way the Holder Folk looked, little imp people, little impy elves, they look goofy, not too scary. Um, I just wish there was a little bit more of this, honestly. But there you go, that was Holderfolk. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, and I'll see you in another video very soon. See you then. I don't see any Holderfolk, but then I suppose I wouldn't. They're hidden people. They're actually meant to be invisible, unless they choose to show themselves to you. So maybe there's loads. <laughs> maybe I should be saying hi and giving them a wave. It looks... Nice. Why the pause? Are you sure about that? I, I, I don't believe you. Where's the X to doubt button? It is first person. All right. Can we leave? No, we can't. <laughs> A lot of cool sheep here. <laughs> How can you differentiate between the cool and the uncool sheep? Are they wearing shades? The latest fashions? Maybe they got a swagger about them? Build site is free from any archaeological artifacts. Yep, mm -hmm. that's, that's me. me. The plane ride was... If you know anything about the Holderfolk... Hulda folk? 
What's that about? <laughs> I guess Me. not. Let's say these Hulda folk are real. How would you get rid of them? <laughs> How would you, you exterminate can't. them? Take a photo. Uh, There's also another artifact on my photo. It's not an Damn artifact. Camera. And it's not the camera. The camera's revealing the truth. But okay, he's actually coming around. And getting lassoed. Damn. I have to admit, mate, you do kind of deserve it. 